Hello, I'm Seamus McDonald, and this is January 15, 2020. This is the uh, update number eight for the uh, build of SCAMP number 459. And today we're going to talk about installing the deck. Um, in preparation for the deck install, we have now got in place all the deck supports. So we have the side deck supports here, as well as the front deck supports. So we're all ready to go with the uh, deck install. The, uh, the outside supports here are called the gunnels, and the inside support is called the carling. Now, one of the things we had to do was to make sure that uh, we had we beveled these supports to match the angle of the top of the bulkheads. So we had to go along with our plane and uh, bevel both these edges here to, to match the angle of the top of the bulkhead. So one of the things we also took the opportunity to do was to install some wood blocks uh, onto the deck. And uh, we did that for the uh, to, to give our, uh, our cleats uh, some solid backing to screw into. So there are four cleats on the boat, two on the starboard side and two on the, on the port side. And this is the location of the aft cleat and the forward cleat is in this location right here. The deck kit itself comes in five pieces. So we've got one, two, three, four, five pieces. And there are four joints in the deck. Um, so we've gone ahead and we've joined it together. And again, it's, uh, we've got these puzzle joints. Uh, we've glued them up. The manual uh, recommends that we uh, let this, these glue joints harden for a minimum of 40, uh, 48 hours before we attempt to actually install the deck on the boat itself. Um, so we're also going to have to make sure that we've got our two coats of epoxy on the on the underside of the deck and um, we'll also have to mask off the areas that uh, uh, are in contact with the with the deck supports because again we want to make sure that we have bare wood to bare wood contact where for the glued surfaces. 